One was a train that our unit, again, platoon or company, came across in the middle of a field. They were boxcars and uh, locked. And uh, we didn't know what it was. And as we approached, uh, there was a little bit of a, uh, a fight. And the, uh, I forgot whether the Germans surrendered or, or we shot them, I don't, I don't remember. But we opened up the doors. They were filled with, there was straw on the uh, floor of the, uh, the train. One or two of them got out and uh, started saying, you know, and I remember one of them saying, Du bist der Irische Soldat? Because uh, I, I, I was able to ask, I, I don't remember the exact word. And uh, we learned that they had not had anything to eat or drink for six days. And a third of them were already dead on, the, on that train. And uh, we, we gave them water from our canteens, we gave them food, you know, our K ration, MC ration, scarves, uh, extra clothing that we might have had. Uh, it was uh, my first experience with seeing them as a uh, sort of walking skeletons. So, uh, and when I knew that they were, that these were all Jews, that was a revelation. This was probably towards the end of April, not far from Dachau. Uh, we now think that that was a uh, train that was probably being evacuated from Bergen-Belsen, but we don't know.